So guys, today is the day. <clears throat> it's 6 a.m. right on the dot. Will you? My wife and I woke up at five. My wife went to the gym, and I got up to meditate, walk. Penny has had RSV. Well, she slept pretty good last night. Really's doing good. We're all doing good. I'm just, just excited. But the morning of this show, I wanted to. I was just thinking, like, how grateful I was. This has just been a fun ride. It's amazing how. Working on something as silly as a YouTube channel, as something as narcissistic, if you will, as starting a YouTube channel, I got to discover a band accidentally and a group of people accidentally that um, really that I really needed. You know, the, this music has been playing through my head nonstop for uh, weeks, months, uh, with its messages that that I've been thinking about even before I listened to them, but. They helped make them almost become mantras because their songs are just so dope. And today's the day. So I'm thrilled. I'm excited. Whew. All right, guys. In like uh, 15 minutes, my my homie is going to come pick me up to go to this thing. Um, his name is Mike Murdoch, and we've been neighbors and friends for a long time and uh, learned while we started filming these reactions that he's been <laughs> been a Tool fan for a long time. Here we go, man. Here's Allie and Jane. Millie to thank because this little one with her RSV. Penny, here with this video, you can use this forever to make me feel guilty about going <laughs> out to you have. In your yep, leaving you while you were sick. So you're welcome. Mike, you're Let's Go, baby. Say what's up, Mike. Hey, I've, what's told up? I've told everyone about it. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay, that was one of the most unique experiences I've ever had because there's this battle that there there's this band, a metal band that is their music just rocks so hard, but there are so many layers to everything they do. First off, just the people that I saw there. I saw dangerous looking folks. I saw young kids. I saw young dads and moms like me where, you know, we probably have been listening to music similar to this for you know while we were growing up which was the case of mike who i went to this concert with i saw a there was a soccer mom like three rows down below us i mean dressed in like the whole you know preppy like sweater business like pants she probably just dropped off her kids in their white suv her husband was with her and but she must have taken I don't know how much, how many shrooms, because she was just entranced the whole time, D dancing. I mean, to at first I was like, okay, that's weird, but she was just in every song. Would was just not sitting down. There were a few times where I noticed her husband be like, kind of like, I've never seen my wife like this. <laughs> She was just in. And and then I would watch other people. People were just taken to a different place. Sure, some of it might have been drug or alcohol induced. Some not, because even then I was having experiences, especially with the projections and the images. I 
throughout the concert was taken through this journey and it was amazing just i couldn't believe when two hours were done i, I couldn't believe that much time already went by i'll get back to um with this psychedelic experience if you will and the geometry that i was seeing there and the places i was taking we're gonna get back to that in a bit i actually want to talk to that so stick around but first off i want to just talk the songs and everything um new like numa when that played i was overwhelmed with like love and appreciation for life it was weird because again it's just such a bad a song but i was just yeah I'm, I'm i'm feeling those things right now um the grudge the, the way they performed that every every song I'll, I'll put a picture of what the set list was there was only and I'll, I'll talk about the few songs that i actually was not familiar with there was only two and and we'll talk about those like what like well, i mean one of them was like killing voices it was beautiful it was dope seeing danny play the guitar for a sec i had never heard that song before so that was a really cool what they what they did with that song and again the experience with with the arena and whatnot uh, incredible um danny carey's like solo song which preceded this um a weird song like we listened to it in the car on the way back but performed live it's an incredible experience to see danny play and especially play that and and the fact that he's performing the entire thing was uh, amazing amazing <clears throat> all right so this concert was played at our like second class arena the maverick center not our main you know where the utah jazz play and it was awesome by the way see seeing denny carey sport a john stockton uniform it's just cool how he always wears the basketball uniform of the team of where he's playing it's just cool how he does that and i can't believe homie's 60 dude that's life goals right but um so this was played at the maverick center uh not the best acoustics there so i'm uh, there, there's only one thing that makes me sad and this leads to news i am going to do everything to catch another concert of this tour somewhere i will do everything i can to find a business travel at one of the cities they're gonna play at and go again but um the only thing that made me sad is that the music was so powerful and so loud that it did drown out Maynard too much. You can't expect much less in a in a metal concert. And maybe let me know down below, like if it was kind of the same for you, like they he was really muffled. But for us, it was just so drowned out. And that makes me that bums me out because I've grown to I, I hear Maynard's voice singing to me in my head a lot now. But that thankful, but thankfully again, the music and, and just that's one of tools superpowers is it's their music as a composition is what moves you. So regardless if I couldn't really hear and understand each lyric, I knew them enough, but the music with the, the graphics and stuff moved me so much that it was still again, this psychedelic, beautiful experience regardless so it was like so it's like fine until they played the last song invincible And thankfully, that song has recently become very meaningful to me for some reason. Why am I getting somewhat emotional here? They somehow fixed the sound <laughs> or something. And I could hear Maynard sing Invincible to perfection. And thankfully, I could record a few bits of that. And that... I can't get the song out of my head now. I need to go find another show. 
and see if maybe I can hear Maynard again because I have to I have to see this again. Nothing walk guided me through an experience like this, like that concert. And I didn't do a ounce of a drug or drink an ounce of alcohol. Cause I mean, you all know I don't I don't do that stuff. If you do. Actually, I kind of envy you because that concert might have been incredible with all of that. <laughs> Where I watched it, I had a perfect view to see just the entire projection and the band in one site. So it was like I felt like I was. Yeah, it, it was what I needed for my first time watching it. But next time I want to be up close to the band. Um, here was something that, that sh surprised me. Maynard is always singing behind the band. I've never seen that before. He's not trying to be a front man. If anything, it's almost felt once in a while they were trying to make like uh, trying to make it like Danny is the center and what holds it together. But so I really found that interesting how he's just always in the background and he doesn't call much attention to himself at all. That was cool. I've never seen a band do that. So what got me with these symbols? Okay, they are clearly during this concert. That word journey is important. Are walking you through a metaphor for transformation. This heptamogram, heptagram, sorry, that's up there. The entire show, which is in one stroke, you make the seven point of star. Because it's in one stroke, to me, like that just symbolizes this idea of we're, we're, we're striving for a sense of perfection or fullness, but perfection isn't what we think it is. I think it's perfection is this full transformation, this full surrender. Let go, let go, let go. That is, I think, perfection. When you finally let go. So again, the heptagram where they're showing like, this is what we're moving and striving for. So when Invincible plays, you see the heptagram start transforming into that seven pointed star in a the circular fashion that again the effects to all of this are just amazing but i they're they're letting you know like you will be transformed and with the music they're making you feel this let's stop <clears throat> because that's not what this is about the point <laughs> is just that i love that tool makes music so beautiful and engaging and so you could leave it at that level if you want and just enjoy tool but if you just really start watching it's like they're messengers from <laughs> like it's like they're messengers to this for this idea that your your that our lives are we've complicated them more than necessary and so every little thing that we go through is trying to remind us to just let Longing it to let go and, and that's that's true way. alchemy right there bro unreal how they represented this which is why i have to go watch this again and I, and, I, and with that i want to hear maynard <laughs> hopefully maynard's voice a little better so amazing concert one of the coolest experiences of my life. Thanks for hanging out.